Dave's a shameless rip-off artist. Hmm. Some of my influences may be more obvious than others. Please don't sue me. I got a new thing. I wanted to show it off a bit. I think a few people already know what it is, but it's new, it's neat, it's not new, it's old and terrible. It's this. Retro TV games, an interesting Christmas present. It's... I'm not sure where it's from, I didn't ask. It... It's not your NES Mini official Nintendo branded thing, it's... It's own thing. I have no idea if you can get the text of that, it's mostly just the same in different languages. Relive hours of video game nostalgia with these mini TV games, featuring 200 fun games. Simply connect to your TV to play. 200 games. I'm willing to bet it's not 200 not identical games. You can kind of see them there. It's about that resolution. We've tried a few, obviously we had a shot once we finally got it working. They're interesting, we'll get to that. We'll show you a few before we get to the proper series. But let's have a look. It's obviously mostly unwrapped, so just put it back in the box for show. There we go. It's a tiny thing, has its own cable. Beep and beep. The machine itself, it's a tiny little adorable stick. You have to unscrew the panel to get batteries in. Slight pain. <gasps> Sad onions. Sad onions. Please show them. It's in there somewhere. Does this work? It does not. So yeah, tiny thing. Just some ports on the back. Tiny port. And got a little stick. Goes up and down. A and B. Start. Reset. It's meant to be a pause button. Just resets the thing. And then this is the bit that caused me some hassle. This is the cable that connects it. Got this tiny thing, that's not a headphone port, that's something smaller. I don't know what it's technically called, but it's a pain. Goes in there, that's fine. Then on the other hand, a V cable, part of a composite cable which modern TVs don't actually have anymore. And as much as I have a bag for cables to connect everything, I didn't have anything to connect this, so I had to go and order something. I got something to capture composite inputs, couldn't get it to work. What I did end up getting was this. Something else, quick box from Amazon. Takes these plugs, audio and video. Goes in there, USB power, and then our good friend, the HDMI port. So that works. It's a bit curious. For some reason it lets you pick 720 and 1080, but it's obviously never gonna hit that quality. It's just for recording. So I've got that. I didn't get my other box to show you. Two seconds. So I also got this. It's a, turned out to be a really budget capture card, but it's got more inputs, component stuff. It's what I've been hoping to use for PS3 and PS2 stuff. HDMI in, a bunch of other things. It records to an SD card. Very useful for I've got a computer that can't handle this. So got that and Less than a day after recording, my whole hardware setup's changed. I've gotten rid of the box that was there and got a new thing. Is this? It is the Hopage? Hopoge? Hodgepodge? Whatever you call it. Rocket. It's again kind of a standalone thing. Takes a USB stick in instead of an SD card. Has all the ports. Has this. The other one had component input as well, but this is a much nicer variant. I think it actually includes. The composite input, this thing. So they go in there somewhere, I've not tested it yet. So possibly this needs a refund as well, because it's no longer useful. But I've been trying it this morning, it's lovely, it works better, it's not a Chinese knockoff, so it's got software. I'm quite happy with it. I've recorded what I need to for now, but future ones should be a lot easier to do. Anyway, back we go. So yeah, we'll get on to playing a couple of these games. See it's switched on just there and we'll let you see just a few of what they're like and get through the proper set in future. And hopefully do 10 or 20, not by myself, because as you've noticed, I'm not that entertaining. So Gemma's going to be joining me. If the series takes a while to record, I might get a few other people to suffer the uniqueness. Um, if I'm lucky, I might even get the person that gave me this to have a shot and we'll get her involved, get a few episodes done that way. So, shall we see what it's like? And here it is. It, yeah, I'll give you a moment just to take that in and read some of the lovely titles. Yeah, 
Thankfully I'm not playing for this quick shot. Am I playing all of them then? Are you playing a couple? Introduce yourself. Hello, I am Sniffly Gemma. It's not the best condition to be recording in, but... Video's gotta go out quickly. I've done it before, I can do it again. Do I press start or A to start um, again? Take him through the controls first of all, because um, it took us a while to figure out how to do this. So, I have a stick. You can go up and down. It allows me to go down and then back up. So what happens when you press A? Oh yeah, left and right switch the screens, fair enough. Yep. Press A. Press A. It takes you AT forward. Yeah. And B? B, tick, B takes you back to the start and then tends back. What? Um. That <laughs> takes you a miscellaneous amount. So oh, it's going there's well. There's one, and then B seems to take me 192 forward. Takes you 10 backwards. And then 80 back. Okay. Right, it's not great. You get the idea. Let's not spoil too many titles, because just the spelling of them is a joy in itself. I'll give you a shot of a few. This is F22. Press the start button to activate. Before you get started, I have noticed for the first time... Copyright? Copyright. 2005. This was made in 2005. It's very rare there's any credits, but once in a while you get to see the date it was made, and that's just depressing. Start! Wait. You press start to start. start. There you I go. can move left and right. Yep. I press B to fire. Yes, you did just lose a life. Dang it. Not that you had any indication. There. You, yeah, don't, you can hold the button at least, that's some small mercy. And that's a power up there. Ah! They don't seem to have any tactile pattern to them at all. Not really. Oh look, Lost you got a double shot. Yeah. How did I lose another life? You ran into them. Did I? It didn't tell you, but yeah. This, weirdly, is one of the better games I've almost enjoyed playing this, so that gives you some indication of how poor this can be. But I actually quite like this one. The controls are smooth enough, it responds, and I it's have fairly entertaining. no score. Oh look, there's my life countdown. Yeah. I'm not sure how you get more. I've played this for, I think, about two minutes straight without dying. I didn't see the end of the level yet. Honestly, I can't be arsed just now. We'll move on to another one. But I think for... Our plop plopper? Yeah. I think for plopper. our proper playthroughs, we're gonna try and finish Ooh. at least one level in every game. Ooh, shiny. Powerful. Oh, nice. oh you, that counts as an extra hit? Oh. oh. There you go. That's the first game. And the next one's Racing Fighter. Which. Oh no, I do remember this. On Is it go. what it says on the tin? Sort of. I have a car. You have a car. Go on. That shoot. Oh, so B to go. Yep, your fuel runs out. I don't think it's got any kind of music. Also, the engine tops out at that. Just keep going. Oh, I meant to shoot things? If you like. Hmm, that noise. Oh, I, I died. So, yeah, the. This Wait, one I've I... not played for more than 30 seconds Am at I time. racing or am I fighting? Or... I don't know. There's numbers on the side. There's fuel, which I don't know what happens when it runs out. There's um, seconds left. 11, I think, is your position or how many cards are left. So let's try and... Yeah. No. Eight? Four? Is that how many shots you have left? Keep... Yeah. Do you have any bullets left? No. Okay. So you have a limited amount of ammo. Slow down. The top one's distance, then. Oh god. It's not clear at all. And it's... Oh, it's terrible. Let's move on to the next one. Go, go, go. Number three is Vanguard. It, it's Vangvard. <laughs> Vangvard's the next one. Not Vanguard. Vangvard. Vanguard. Wait, is that... No, that's the demo screen. Okay, Steered. that was neat. See? Ooh, this one's actually got a map. Yep. Oh, we could theoretically finish this. <laughs> no. Okay, so I can... Um, I'm a tank, so I move like a tank. Fair enough. It's got music. I got very excited the first time I saw this on the menu, because I think I remember playing some tank game called Vanguard as a child. It was very good. It was not this. You've got a little health bar underneath. Yeah, they get just got hit. Oh my god, like, it controls like ass. What did you expect? 
at least tank controls. <laughs> Optimistic. So, well, given that I've only got one stick, tank controls would be a yeah. bit of a bitch. On the first day we demoed this, we played. We played this one a fair while. I think we gave we it a couple of minutes. Played police dog Lassie. Oh god, yeah. Uh, we've not actually even gone through the whole list of games. Oh wait! As I say, the the spelling of them is incredible. It's just hilarious looking at each one, so we'll be discovering along with you what each one's called, what they look like. We've not gone to the stage where they repeat themselves yet, so... I'm assuming they do. If they don't, then it will be fairly entertaining. 200 entirely different games. But, no. Unlikely. Should I try one more? Sure. Um, go for Police Dog Glassy, actually. We'll skip ahead, because... Well, this no one... one I played oh, no, before. Oh, no, 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 no. Try police dog, because I remember some curious things about it. Give it a quick shot. But Magic Jody. <laughs> Magic, Magic Jody, Jody has a good. special place in my heart. It does. But let show them the premise of this one. It's a little beagle. Police dog Lassie. Go on. Lassie. You'd almost think it was a Mario game. Not quite. So, so this creepy little goblin guy drops a bomb. Another bomb. A book Luke. with a dildo on it. A boomerang. Another boomerang, and a right. sheet of paper, and a diamond, and another diamond. Jesus Christ. So, if I've got this right, you have to, you're the dog, here you are, and you have to dig up all the things that aren't bombs. I don't think we failed this yet. We did play a couple of levels, and it seemed to go fine. I'm curious to see what happens if you actually dig up something that's not a good thing. There's another diamond, although I don't think you put a diamond there. Go down a bit. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, so, so that's what happens. And as far as I know, that's the entire premise of the whole oh, no. fucking god. So that's the premise of this one. So, so as yeah. far as I can tell, it's a memory game. You have to remember where he buried those. Yeah. I'm not entirely compass today, so there ain't no way. Oh, there you go. Maybe we will. Where's I don't remember the bit? others. Uh, bottom center, maybe, if you didn't get that. Underneath the bush. There, there we go. he is. Victory! Hooray! So, yeah. That's um, the kind of thing we're looking forward to. <laughs> Man in red, IQ champion, mirror devil word. We won't Seawolf. spoil all these. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. No. Yeah, we just wanted to give you a quick taste, because it might take me a week or two to catch up on all the videos I'm working on, and this one as well. <laughs> Spoilers! So, yeah. Come back soon. I'll continue working on this, assuming everything goes well. And we'll go on a little journey. I'll hopefully not feel like death next time we load up. Yeah, you've got a habit of doing that. Yeah, I know. Stop being ill! Stay tuned for the amnesia videos where I fall asleep. <laughs> Have we not passed that already? No, that's oh, part no. five. That's the next one. Good. Yep. Alright, so we'll come back to that soon. Goodbye. Bye!